Good evening, everyone. Good evening. This is Spirit Journey. Today is September 22nd, 2016, and it is 9.45 p.m. This video is going to be a very serious video. I would like to talk about the shooting that happened last Friday on the September 16th, 2016 of an un another unarmed black man by the name of Terence Crutcher. And it's, this thing is really getting out of hand. I, I actually want to address this video to Barack, President Barack Hussein Obama. I want to first begin with the video of Terence Crutcher. Okay, this happened on Friday, and I have in front of me my uh, my computer monitor, and I'm going to play just a snippet of the video that has his murder. He was murdered by a an officer. Okay, I'm going to turn around my <laughs> my iPhone here and show my monitor. Okay. Okay. So the name of this video, I hope I can get it here, is called Live. Terrence Crutcher, New York and New Jersey Explosions, Min Minnesota Mall, Salt, is Hillary Obama's legacy. Okay, but the part of the story is at position five minutes and 46 seconds. I'm going to start it from there, okay? It's going to be a series of little clips I'm going to show. So I want you to get the background information. As they're approaching the vehicle, um, a black male started towards them. They asked him to show his hands. He refused to follow. I don't know whether this officers. is the actual po police officer. They continued to talk that to him. one, I don't know. to listen, to follow any commands. Um, as they got closer to the vehicle, uh, he reached inside the vehicle. Mm -hmm. And at that time, um, there was a taser deployment. Uh, and then at a short time later, there was uh, one shot fired. Okay. That's the official story, right? Hmm. All right, here's the video. Yeah, he's going to show the video of the actual sh shooting. The officers are now narrating the radio audience. Officers are pulling up. So that, that's amazing. His hands are up. He's walking to the, the vehicle. Yeah, that's a navigator. And he, his hands are up, and now there are two officers on him, and he is on the vehicle. Okay. Two, four. On the vehicle. Now two more officers are approaching him. Total four cops. Watch below. He's on the ground already. Right there on the bottom. They shot him on the ground. I mean, can I? I'm gonna run it back. Okay. I want you to see. I want you to see very closely. If they told. Okay. Okay. Now remember that the, the lady was saying that he was approaching them, implying that he was a threat and they were coming, that he was coming after the cops. That's what it, it sounded like she was trying to imply, that he was a, a dangerous person. And then he said that, uh, she said that he was going into his car. But that wasn't the case because his window is rolled all the way up. He couldn't get in the car if any, even if he wanted to. She was lying throughout the whole thing. Okay? So that happened on Friday. Last Friday. September 16th. Okay? And it's still a little light. I said it was like 7 something p.m. Okay? And then, this is another video I want to show you. Then the next day, 
on September 17th, Obama is at a, like a convention. It's the, what do you call it? The Congressional Black Caucus. And Obama spoke at this caucus and he says a, a hot statement, I thought. And after this shooting, and for him to say this, so I think this is what's really making my anger rise. I, I want to show you this video. And then I'm going to really present you my concern. Was, okay, this video... Okay, I hope I can get here. This video is entitled, Obama tells the black community to vote for Hillary or else it's a personal insult. React <clears throat> reaction. Okay, this is by Anthony Brian Logan. Okay. I'm going to play this video so you can hear what's being said. After we have achieved historic turnout in 2008 and 2012, especially in the African American community, I will consider it a personal insult, an insult to my legacy. If this community lets down its guard and fails to activate itself in this election, you want to give me a good send off? Go vote! Does he got the nerve to say that? A legacy. What legacy did he leave? He has a horrible legacy amongst the black community. He hasn't, he, he never fulfilled his promise about even sending the troops home. Remember he was supposed to send the troops home? They're still there getting their legs blown off. And I am former military. I, I served my country and I served with honor, okay? He never served, and he does, he's not a man of promise, and that's a real biggie that I, that I have against. People who don't fulfill the promises, or at least doesn't make an effort, he didn't make an effort. I'm upset with Obama because I think it's arrogant of him to talk about a legacy and putting, trying to put a hang up on me and other black people. Okay, this is at a black caucus event. So most of the people there are going to be black. Okay, and it's implied because this election for the Democrat is a candidate by the name of Hillary Rodham Clinton. Okay, and she has a lot of skeletons in her closet, she and her husband. And to put that on me and other black people or so called minorities that we have to vote for the de Democratic ticket and blaming us that we as blacks don't have uh, independent thinking, that we cannot vote for who we want to vote for, why, does she, why do we have to vote for her? And how dare President Barack Hussein Obama put that monkey on our back? Now, just the day before this um, caucus, black caucus, an unarmed middle-aged black man got murdered. But does he make any um, discussion about this poor man again on his watch? Another man murdered by a police officer. And the police officer was caught lying because he had the video. He wasn't going in his car. He didn't reach in the car because the windows are up. You got four cops there. First they tased the man, and that wasn't enough. And then they shoot him dead. That quickly. When President Barack Hussein Obama leaves office, he leaves office with protection. 
he has for life um, what do you call it the um, secret service and yes the secret service men and women carry weapons and they're trained to use it okay my concern when I I, I, I just heard of the Terrence Crutcher murder, as I call it, and I, I think it's really something how, okay, within like a, a week, you had the, um, the you had a, a bomb go off in Manhattan on 23rd Street, and then um, within, I think, 24-hour period, uh, an, an, another explosion, a bomb, in New Jersey, and it allegedly is by the same person. I forget the name of the person. I think they said he is from Afghanistan. Now, I found really interesting. How is it that here, this man from Afghanistan um, could create a bomb and then detonated but yet when the police capture him they, they don't shoot him dead he is alive he's in the hospital okay now why how is that how is that he's armed this this alleged bomber is alive yet the the police were looking for him with the knowledge of that he allegedly made bombs that went off that hurt people, okay? And then you have, let's see, okay, he, he, he is not a black man, he's a person of color, but the people in Afghanistan, they're classified as Caucasian. But even still, they didn't kill him, the, the police. And then you have, a person in Minnesota who goes on a rampage. He's from Somalia, but and he 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 wounded people with a weapon. But he's dead, and he's a black man. Okay, and I mean remember about a, a little over a year ago in um, the Carolinas. Dylan Roof, I think his name is, Dylan Roof, a white male who planned, made a plan to go to this church. He's from a different state, so he drives into a new state with a weapon to go on a, uh, to, to, I'm sorry, to go to a Bible study. He goes to the whole Bible study for one hour and then opens fires on elderly women, uh, older men, and, and then he runs off in a car. You had a survivor in that room, in that shooting, and then they, 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 they're trying to find him. They, they find him, but they didn't open fire on him, even though he had a weapon and he committed mass murder. They didn't kill him, and then I was told that they went to what was that a fast food place so to feed him. This is weird. So what? So what am I getting at? The common denominator is that police officers know how to kill and know how to subdue a suspect. They know how to su subdue a suspect with a weapon and not kill them. But black people, whether you are unarmed with your hands up or if you have a knife in your hand, they, they, they seem to know, they know how to kill you. And they kill you. These things are occurring because that the system is being trained to do exactly what you see what's going on. They're being trained 
and, and socially conditioned that no matter what the problem is, to shoot, to kill black people. But if you're a terrorist or a white person who's a terrorist, somehow the cops know how to subdue them and I, I, I don't understand this. I, you know, I do understand, I'm just dumbfounded. So, I, I, I'm just looking at something else here. Yeah, so th this, you know, this is to Obama that, like, does, does President Barack Hussein Obama know about what happened in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Let's see, let me see here. Something happened in Tulsa, Oklahoma years ago. It was entitled The Destruction of Black Wall Street in, let me see, get the year, May 31st, 1921. An incident happened whereby a a young black male is entering in a, in a elevator to use to to get to the uh, bathroom. In those days, things were socially segregated against black people. Blacks were forbidden to go to certain areas, but only just a few designated areas if they have to use the facilities. So this one particular building had a bathroom where blacks could use and to get to that you have to take the elevator and a lady claimed that the, he, he was trying to attack her something and they were going to do okay the whites of that community were going to lynch him somehow the black community found out about it and someone I think two men, black men, went to try to get him out of the jail because they see what's going to happen to him. There was no trial. They want to execute the black man, the, the, the white crowd, want to execute him immediately. So, fast forward, the U.S. government, a, a, a riot started. A, a, a gun went off, and at that point, the whites there went wild, and then the U.S. government had ordered the bombing of this the town, this this black town in Tulsa, Oklahoma, this the same state where this um, black individual Terrence Crutcher got killed. Not, not in the same city. I don't think it's the same city, but the same state. Okay? And so what happened in this black town that got firebombed by, by military planes. This is a, was a civilian community. And they were firing on women and children. And the authorities, the white authorities, obliterated a whole city and the people were destituted and then shortly after that the city put in a highway and when the highway went right through the town and I think that's what their motive was that's what they wanted to do I believe in the first place and orchestrated this so that it gives them excuse to put in a highway through this town. It was a very uh, prosperous black town, okay? So I'm sure Obama should have known about this, this, this town and Oklahoma and blacks and to see this happening again, well, an another black man being killed. And I think it was that, that same white police officer white female police officer lying again on an unarmed and harmless black man, okay? So, hey, this is just one day after 
and Obama is out of this caucus and putting a hang up on black people, a, a guilt trip, I'm sorry, not a hang up, a, a guilt trip that we better vote for Hillary. That's what is implied and that by his legacy. He has a poor legacy on his own Barack Hussein Obama. Shame on him. I'm very angry and disappointed with him. I did vote for Barack Hussein Obama for the first time, not the second. And, but look at this. He has a daughter who recently was found smoking. I don't know what she was smoking, but she was smoking. She's underage and she's lifting up her dress and exposing her underwear deliberately in, in her dancing. Now, I heard that there's some states, if you expose even your, your underwear, you know, those, some men wear their pants uh, sagging and to expose the underwear, they, they have some places that they want to make that illegal, okay? They could have arrested her. She's Ill illegally smoking, and some said that she might have been smoking uh, funny stuff, and she's exposing her underwear by lifting up her dress. They could have arrested her. If they didn't know who she was, let's say she's sneaked out of the house, there's no secret service men. They arrest women, and they all, you have police officers who kill unarmed black women. You all know about that. But she did have Secret Service people there. And you know, Secret Service people are equipped with weaponry and are, and are trained to use it. So my concern is this. When Barack Hussein Obama leaves office, him and his whole family will have protection by the Secret Service people and they could always leave the country. But I and other black people are left here at the whim of crazy people who wear uniform and guns and, 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 and see us as a threat. I take this personal because I have brothers who are middle-aged and it could have easily been them. What if your car got um, stuck on the road and he's going to the cops for help and they just consider him a, a suspect and he had a, a, a helicopter above him that they did, they single him out, and they weren't even on call for a, a car a, 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 on on the road. They were coming, they were driving for some other thing, and they just so happened to see this car up there, it's stranded, and they just immediately put that distrust for him. Something like, you know, I I was um, profiled before. And I consider myself someone who is basically at heart a soft-spoken person. I, I, I never carry a weapon. And even though I'm, I'm harmless, I was still profiled. And I think my having a more quiet disposition help me in my situation but not everybody is me and, it, and there's some people who have more charismatic in their way of speaking maybe they're more physical and at a whim I believe that certain institutions are being taught being told behind the scenes to target us to just that that we're in you know to put suspicion on us. I I I see that with what happened to me.
And so here, this poor man, he had four children. This this man, uh, Terence Crutcher, he, had, he has four young children and a wife. Who's going to take care of them? My heart goes out to this family and to his friends. So I, I present all these information to President Barack Hussein Obama, who does not speak out on behalf of black issues, but yet he's going to put it out there that in essence, we better vote for Hillary or you, you're shaming him. Shame on you. Shame on you, Barack Hussein Obama. Shame on you. That's all I have to say. Please feel free definitely to comment below. Share, please, share this video with friends, family, family members, and to subscribe to Spirit Journey. And once again, please give me the two thumbs up. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.